Well, anyways, I'm just looking around in the store. You know, first thing I first thing I hear is um, supposedly I thought it was wood actually dropping on the floor, but then just listening, I was just looking around and. Um, then a second fire, a second shot got fired, and I was like, "Oh dang!" Everybody started running through the back. So what happened was, me and all these group of people went out the back of the store, and just around the corner over here. But when I first heard it, um, it sounded like the shots were coming up here in the front of the register. So it was pretty, uh, pretty scary. You know, first time ever experiencing this. So. Store was pretty crowded. Yeah, uh, it was pretty crowded. Yeah, people were looking around at first, and. Um, you know, just thinking like like it was it was nothing but then when we heard that second shot we we're like oh crap we better go but, you know we, we shouldn't be in the store right now you know so was there a panic what did, what did it look everybody like everybody was pretty panicking um everybody was like let's go let's go let's go out let's go um go in the back we shouldn't be in here everybody said go to the back of the store um so everybody just started dispersing everywhere you know how many shots did you hear uh there's only two shots um I didn't see anything, but just heard it. And it was just towards the, the front of the registers on the left side upon entering. So How much of a delay was there between the shots? Um, shots was like a, a three second delay. Uh, first shot, and then three seconds later, and then another shot. Uh, something you expect in Walmart? I mean. Oh, well, I didn't expect a Walmart would have, would have uh, got this, you know? And uh, this is the first time for me to. I experienced this, you know. Um, you know right off the bat that there are gunshots? Um, at or first, no. You're just like, Whoa, I, have to, I, ha I have to, I actually have to hear the second time to, to see if there were shots or not, you know. I mean, for me, I thought it was just wood hitting the floor or something because people were um, actually tracking their, um, you know, at nighttime when they put stuff on the shelves and everything, I thought one of those things fell on the, the floor. Or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Were people screaming? Were they running? Uh, they weren't screaming at first. Um, the... After the second shot, that's when people started screaming. So. And how did the employees handle everything? Were, were they were they doing anything, guiding people? Oh yeah, um, all the employees there. Um, they're like, oh, shots fired. Let's go out in the back. You know, they started uh, uh, pushing, uh, putting people to the back of the store, and uh, they opened the gate in the back for us to go out of. Do you think their efforts and their training maybe maybe calmed things down instead of everybody running in every direction and just crashing into each other? Were they were they kind of instrumental in keeping the peace while things were getting weird? Yes, yeah, I believe so. What's your name? My name is Genesis. Can you spell it? Uh, G E N E S I S. And your last name? My last name is Taliban. T A L A B A N. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Paul Phillips, P H I L L I P S, field lieutenant. Uh, what we had tonight is just before 10 o'clock. We had a male come in and do a, uh, an armed robbery. Uh, he actually fired shots while he was inside. Uh, very, very brazen, very dangerous. There were a lot of people inside, a lot of clerks, uh, as well as customers. Uh, we believe he fired at least two. We know he fired at least two rounds, but there may have been uh, three or even more. Uh, thank goodness no one was hit. We don't believe he was actually aiming at anyone. Uh, it appears he was aiming up into the ceiling and maybe one towards the door. We're still trying to determine that. Uh, we had, uh, because of the, the amount of people that were here, the number of uh, citizens and witnesses, we had uh, detectives from robbery come out, but also detectives from Southeastern Division, I think actually Mid-City Division, as well as officers from at least two commands. So uh, there were a lot of witnesses to talk to and a lot of statements to, uh, to take, but we didn't inconvenience them too much because we had so many personnel, as you, as you probably saw, we had so much uh, in the way of personnel here. So he's described as a, a, a black male, Looks to be in his 30s, uh, approximately 5'7", with a kind of a, a medium build. Uh, it looks like he's got full facial hair and maybe even some dreadlocks or uh, uh, bushy hair. Um, again, uh, he dark clothing. Uh, he had a dark, uh, dark baseball cap on, maybe a gray, and he was last seen running towards a, a vehicle that was over by the the Cocos uh, that we're following up on. Do we have a description of that vehicle? The vehicle, it, it was hard to say. Their, their video is a little <laughs> tough from the distance, but it looked like it might be a multicolored vehicle, uh, dark and light. Uh, but again, we're checking on that. They're, they're being very cooperative. The guys that can run the video in there, it's a, it's a whole different kind of system. I wouldn't even want to uh, touch real, it, actually. Real quick, one of the employees was saying the clerk who was actually helped, it was her. She says that she recognized him from uh, another robbery earlier, that she was robbed by the same guy, Pot potentially. Uh, we don't know that for sure. We're looking into that because a, a similar case happened here um, with a similar description. We don't know if they're related. We're looking into that, though. Still so. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Over the next few hours, you guys will just continue uh, 
uh, interviewing witnesses or what are you doing through the night? Yeah, fortunately, a lot of our interviews are actually done. We're, okay. We've got a lot of other businesses around that have uh, that have video or potential video that we're hoping it, uh, is here. We're doing some follow-ups in different areas of the city based on some other information. Mm -hmm. um, but I think the main thing now, I think most of the people have actually been spoken with. The main thing now is the evidence collection, again, obtaining the video and, uh, and going from there. Do you have a sense of just how chaotic it was in there at the time? That yes. They, how, I, how I, saw, I saw some of the video and it was very chaotic. You've got actually, uh, you've got uh, security personnel that were diving behind walls. This was brazen. This was dangerous. And we're going to catch this guy. We're going to catch this guy. These guys are going to work hard. Uh, the men and women of the police department are going to work hard to get this guy in custody because uh, it was just, uh, it was beyond unsafe. Uh, and he took off with from what I understand, bags of money, or the day's take, or the day's till, or whatever you want to call I believe it. his take was significant. We don't have that to disclose, but um, I, I believe it was significant. And, and again, I don't know how much. Did he become agitated when she, was she taking too long or something? Or it, it, it appears that could be the case because he actually went to one clerk behind, uh, behind kind of a long counter. It's hard to describe, and maybe if you go in there later you can see it. But I think that, yeah, she was taking a little bit of time, and then somebody came up with uh, kind of a mobile cart, so to speak, that uh, he... he turned his attention from the clerk to that cart as as those people were actually running away because by then he had fired some shots. A so mobile cart of it's like a right, it's like a mobile collection cart. Okay. So to collect the cash from each cash register maybe. I believe or? that's what it's for. And then he just fired the shots. He I think he had fired the shots kind of as they were coming up. So again, you know, we're still the video didn't have sound but that's that's what it looked like to me. They're going to analyze that very well. When will that be released to the media? I don't know. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> they, they, they may, you know. <laughs> I think it's going to go through our public information yeah. officer, okay. so and the detectives that are working it. How and long did the entire taper take? It looked like it only took 20 or 30 seconds. It was quick. It was quick. He was he was in. He knew what he was doing. He was focused. He had the gun out the whole time in the video that I could see. Uh, and you've got people that once those shots were fired, you can imagine people were darting in all directions. It was chaotic. And this guy, I mean, this is this is beyond dangerous. This, we're, but we'll catch him. And when it, he got into that getaway vehicle, did it look like he was the passenger and someone else was driving, or did uh, he, think he was driving? It, it looked like he was a driver. Okay. So uh, he was but by whether it, it's possible there were other people in the car, but it, it was uh, the distance on the surveillance video was very tough to determine. But again, they're going to go over that with a fine tooth comb, and 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 they'll find out. And in the video itself, it sounds like it's pretty high resolution. Pretty, we have a good look at this guy. Well, you can imagine how many angles there are, yeah. and, and you know, in a big Walmart, yeah, there, there's a lot of different angles, and and again, they're going to get, they'll, I'm sure they'll get stills, and they'll keep looking at it, and and yeah, the work is just beginning. Gotcha. Yeah. All righty. Okay. Anything else?